In today's episode, I'm talking about a fragrance with a name that I'm not sure if I know how to correctly pronounce, but I've always referred to it as L'Occitane. So please forgive me if I've completely butchered the pronunciation with my Yorkshire twang, uh, but today's all about this one. And to find out my thoughts on it, stay tuned to Mags Frags. Yes, hello again everybody and welcome to another episode of Mags Frags. I'm Paul and this is day 108 of my Fragrance 365 project where I give my thoughts on a different fragrance every day for a whole year. So today's scent of the day is L'Occitane Pour Homme Eau de Toilette which is an aromatic fougère fragrance for men. It was launched in 2005 and it's said to be inspired by the region of Provence in the south of France and its intense blue lavender fields, the sun that tans the skin and also taking a siesta in the shade of the olive trees. This brand is all about the sustainable sourcing of natural and organic ingredients in the product. So if this is kind of important to you, then it's uh, all explained in more detail on the, the company's website. And I'll post a direct link in the description if you want to check it out. Yes, yeah, so the presentation on this is quite different and the box arrives in this natural looking brown cardboard, which I presume is uh, recycled. It contains the name of the house printed on the top and the fragrance name on the front in like a metallic chrome effect and that sits within a, a blue box which runs all the way through around three sides. Uh, there's also the um, concentration and the size of the bottle there on the front but then round the back we've got some braille which I presume is the fragrance name and I think this is quite a nice touch and I can't ever remember coming across any other fragrance packaging that contains braille. Uh, there's some more product inf info in French and at the bottom we've got the usual barcode and the batch code. The bottle is quite quirky and it's more like something that you'd uh, probably find in a, a medicine cabinet rather than a, a fragrance display. This is the 75 milliliter size and it also comes in a 100 mil variant and both come in this like brown ambery transparent glass with a dark blue label on the front uh, and a, a silver click on cap that does actually feel a little bit cheap when you when you take it off but overall the presentation I think is quite good on this it's different and functional uh, but it's nothing to get too excited about the top notes in this one are lavender and black pepper in the heart there's nutmeg and cinnamon and in the base there's tonka bean woody notes and musk so this opens up with a gorgeous natural smelling lavender and also a fiery hit of like pepperiness coming from the black pepper and the cinnamon but it's the lavender that takes center stage and what I get straight away is a lovely clean high quality shower gel or soap type vibe with a herbal quality the kind of thing that you'd find in a very uh, luxurious and expensive hotel the spiciness is fairly intense and you wouldn't expect it to work with the lavender but it actually does work really well and they kind of balance each other out. As it dries down I can pick up on uh, more on the cinnamon and especially the nutmeg in the heart and then we've also got the tonka bean and musk which kind of just sweetens everything up. There's also a little bit of woodiness providing a, a, a touch of a masculine backbone but overall it's a moderately spicy herbal take on the note of lavender which I think is very interesting and enjoyable. This is a very easy to wear fragrance and I think it would be great on a warm summer evening when you've just had a shower and you're wearing something like a linen shirt and a pair of chinos. It definitely does have a relaxed Mediterranean holiday feel about it and it does come off a little bit more casual than for a formal dressed up occasion or maybe a clubbing scent. You could also wear this as a daily driver or as an office fragrance and it could be worn by men of any age because it's a fragrance that just smells natural and super clean. It's very likeable and mass appealing but what normally follows those words is the word generic but this is far from generic. This has a unique smell and unless you've got hundreds of fragrances in your collection you won't have anything that you've come across that smells like this one. Yeah. <laughs> 
This one projects well for an hour or so, and then it starts to sit a little bit closer to the skin. I do catch wafts for a couple of hours after, but I would say round about the maybe three to four hour mark, it's all but gone. Uh, so it's not a huge performer, but it's also not the worst I've come across either. This is a really interesting smelling and likeable fragrance that's blended extremely well and you can just tell that it's been blended with natural oils. There's nothing synthetic or metallic in this whatsoever and it's a lovely take on the lavender note. The spices give it a masculine edge but I also think that women are going to love this one just as much as men. It's decent value at around £40 for a 100ml bottle size and I think it's a solid dumb reach daily driver and for that reason I would give L'Occitan an 8 out of 10. Yeah so that's about it for today's scent of the day. Tomorrow I'm going to be talking about a fairly recent release and I wasn't too excited or even bothered about trying it to be honest uh, but it's actually very surprising but in a good way so make sure you tune in tomorrow to see which one I'm talking about. If you found this video useful, please don't forget to give it a like and also subscribe to the channel. Your support is very much appreciated. And it's also great to hear your opinions and your thoughts, your critiques and all of these fragrances that feature in the 365 project. So don't forget to keep your comments coming down in the comments section. So as always, thank you very much once again for tuning in. Stay safe, keep smelling fresh and I'll see you tomorrow for another one. Bye bye for now.